expected. One of the domestic violence victims is speaking out with anger at the battle between the city and the DA's office. Kansas First News reporter Lauren Seabrook spoke and sat down with a local survivor who says this is a huge step back in the progress they've made in combating domestic abuse. Yeah, Kelly, she is outraged over the tug of war of misdemeanor charges and says if something is not done fast, Topeka victims could lose their lives. Now, I do want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see may be considered graphic. I was beaten with a crowbar. It was a misdemeanor. I've had both my wrists broken. That was a misdemeanor. 16 years after enduring constant physical abuse, the memories still shake Claudine Dombrowski to the core. I tremble thinking about it. When Shawnee County District Attorney Chad Taylor decided to hand over misdemeanor cases like Dabrowski's to the city, she knew it would weigh heaviest on victims of domestic violence. Knowing the consequences a victim could face when the abuser is arrested, then released, she advises victims not to call the police. You as a survivor know how to survive. You just keep surviving. If you call the police right now, and if, God forbid, you end up in the city, oh, you might die. Dabrowski says she's disgusted at how poorly survivors are treated after making the terrifying decision to call authorities. Let's put these, these victims in with weed control and dog at large and parking tickets. That's how important you are to our community. She says the word misdemeanor has such a harmless connotation if only people knew the horrible actions hiding behind it. I had been pushed through plate glass windows and, um, you know... <laughs> If I had not been in a relationship with this man, he would be in prison. If the city does decide to take on the domestic abuse cases, she hopes it's only until funding can be restored at the DA's office. We've just jumped back 30 years into the dark ages, and it's very dark. The lights just went out in Topeka. She says many times the misdemeanor charges get reduced to disorderly conduct and destruction of personal property. And Kelly, she can't imagine how easy the abusers will have it in city courts. Hmm. All right, Lauren, thank you. Now, Dabrowski says you can help domestic violence victims of Topeka by demanding more money for the DA's office so they can continue to protect the public.